Alright, so um, just a trigger warning, this poem does deal with depression and suicide. So if anyone needs to leave, feel free to do so, I won't be offended. Also, pay attention to the title of this poem because uh, people have read it and not seen the title and been very confused. So, this one is called Depression, A Love Story. I met you on a Monday in the middle of a summer night. You were lying on the beach surrounded by a midnight sky looking up at the stars while grains of sand <coughs> fell through your hair and grated against your skin. You looked so peaceful, so I joined you. I crept up and snaked my way under your arm, letting my fingers tangle with your hair. And when you looked up at the sky, you said that the stars seemed to have disappeared. The waves crashed, saying the cool ocean spray spinning over us. I couldn't tell if it was the ocean's delicate saliva or the tears that wet your face, or if you were shaking from the cold or my presence. But I held you a little tighter and you shook a little harder, so I took the opportunity to kiss your forehead and get just a taste of your mind, to suck on your thoughts and let their bitter taste sit on my tongue. I made you uncomfortable at first, but still you came back and came back and came back until the 2 a.m. visits didn't seem so weird anymore, until your nightmares of dying became your very favorite fantasies. Sweetest, you let me into your life. Now I never want to leave. Repose, let go. Sit here in this room with me, this little white room with me, and let me help you relax. Just lie here and lie here and lie here, and I'll kiss your eyelids closed, and we can be together forever. Because I'm as obsessed with you as you are with me. I thrive off the insects inside your mind, crawling into the spaces that you never knew existed. The spaces you haven't visited since you were a child. The dark ones, the scary ones, the ones with the please knows and the please don't hurt me. I know you don't like to be touched, darling, but I promise I'll be gentle. I promise just like that night on the beach, you'll hardly even notice I'm here. Just let me in. Stop trying to shut me out with those pills. Those ugly pills with ugly names. Prozac, Zoloft, Lexapro, they're all whores. Whores who are desperately trying to pry you away from me. I know you say my love is overbearing and maybe I'm a little bit controlling, but I don't like when you go out. And all I really want is to stay in bed with you, baby. I know I make you wash your weight and leave dark crescents under your eyes from the late nights. I know I scarred your wrists with my fingernails, purple, ugly scars with no real explanation. All these little things are the reminders I leave for you. You are mine. Because if I ever lost you, I'd die. Because if you ever left me, I could never exist. You say I'm dark, but baby, you know here. And maybe it's my fault for ripping through your cognition, for coating my teeth with the spilt blood of your delicate thoughts. But maybe it's your fault for falling in love with me and flirting with those late night sobs. Or maybe we're both to blame for needing each other so fucking much. Because at the end of the day, we will be together forever. Which leaves us here. You with your best suit and a glass of amber-colored whiskey to give you the courage for your journey down the aisle to where the priest stands, where the candles are lit, to where everyone can see your shiny shoes and peaceful face. And this is the vows that you will be forever mine. I lay sprawled out on your bed as you get ready, and I watch the ceiling fan as it collects its dust, and I watch as you tie your tie, your braided hemp tie. And I watch, and I watch, and I watch with eager eyes as you step up onto the chair, dust falling off the ceiling fan like confetti and whisper, I do.